The difference between this gas station attendant and most others is that this one has a bachelor's degree and a master's in education. He's a teacher in a high school. And the reason he works in a gas station is that teaching doesn't pay him enough to support his wife and two children. He likes being a teacher, but he's beginning to get a little tired of working 14 hours a day. I don't know. What are you doing it for, anyway? A lot of difference between what it is and what you thought it would be. You wanted to mold minds. You're building something and keeping young yourself. But that isn't the way it works out. There's a lot more. Coming home late at night from the gas station, trying to get in a few minutes' work on the PhD thesis, the correcting papers, the lack of recognition of things you do and try to do, I don't know. He's thinking of quitting. And this teacher represents some of the reasons why around 95,000 men and women left teaching in one year, this year, 1957. America needs 135,000 more teachers. And as the shortage grows, we hear sudden demands for teachers to turn out more scientists and technicians, a larger reservoir of skilled and well-informed citizens. Is anything being done about this? Not enough. Teachers are well aware of the problems, but the public has been apathetic. To begin with, teachers must be kept free for the all-important work of teaching. Teacher aides are one answer. Some communities have them supervise laboratory work in high schools or perform the clerical functions that take highly trained teachers' precious time, or the nursemaiding, the picking up after, all the things that keep a teacher from teaching. And then there's money. Some of us spend more on our automobiles than the total salary of the teacher we ask to train our children.